Oh my gosh, it smells. <laughs> I just, I was running by, I got this whiff. It smells amazing here. We are talking with uh, Christina Willette with the uh, the Flower Factory. Uh, we've got this beautiful, what, what do I even call this? Uh, those are actually wild plum blossoms. They're beautiful. Yeah, they are really nice. They really have this effect. It smells amazing here. And I'm getting kind of the rundown because you've been in this business for 16, 16 years. Yeah. But then last year branched off on your own and, and, and started the Flower Factory. Yeah, I decided to move back home to Renfrew and um, open up my shop. And it's been just a little over a year. Is it exciting to have, you know, you work for someone, but then to have your own feel, your own flavor to it? Yeah, it's exciting. You get to choose uh, the colors of the store, how I actually want my mm -hmm. business, what direction I want it to go. You pretty, you cover everything. Of course, there's the there's the shops so people are coming in and they mm -hmm. have the access to to, uh, to these arrangements. But for you, it pretty much covers everything, right? Everything from parties, weddings, sympathies, any special occasions. Can I ask? Because there's a you have a definitely a unique style that I'm seeing here. Yeah, I I totally love refurbishing stuff. Uh, these are tin cans. Mm -hmm. Tomatoes used to be in there, and <laughs> I actually did this for a uh, wedding, and it's great. Uh, it's reuse, recycle. Um, mason jars are great. Yeah, we're for, seeing them right here. For arrangements, very simple, um, very stately done. Do you, would you say there's the, almost like the Victorian? There's a Victorian there's an kind touch of to it. a vintage look too as well. I mean, the other thing is too is antique uh, teacups are fun to use. This is I love this arrangement. Was yeah, this it's something fun. that you, where do you where do you start with the flowers, the the tea the teacups themselves? Well, those are my actually teacups from home. I mm -hmm. love teacups, and it's just um, I just thought about stacking them, and just that would be perfect for a Mother's Day uh, brunch at home. And even to throw in some fruits, you can do anything with flowers, actually. And it's crazy because a lot of people think that flowers are so expensive, but you can get away with just having something like everybody has that in their in absolutely, their, you're right. In the recycle bin, um, carnations are totally coming back. Um, the commercial mums are coming back, and just having a couple of them in, like even the nice pink hydrangea, just in a glass, it's it looks so more elegant, more. Um, Less is more sometimes. I think that's the way yeah. a lot of people are going. And I, I forget that this is what's underneath, you know, the, yeah. the wrapper. Yeah. You know, you forget that there's something that you really that you really can use. I love the idea here, especially for Mother's Day. We're seeing those colors right now. We have Mother's Day coming up, but we're also into the spring, summer feel. So are these the types of flowers that we could be looking for? Yeah. I mean, everybody right now is totally wanting that nice hot weather. And anything that's hot, vibrant, the colors are just, uh, just pop. The other thing that I do find, too, is like when you do have a party or a wedding or uh, or a special occasion I love working with more monochromatics I find that it's a more dramatic effect when it comes to your flowers it makes a bigger statement than a whole pile of colors than, than too much going yeah. on at the same time yeah where could you do something like this I mean you've got it placed oh that's drama that, well it that's really total is but drama. Um, Imagine walking into a nice reception hall and that on a nice huge table with lots of candles, even just with a couple vases down, and you just have this huge drama effect of the, peach, uh, the plum blossoms. Where do you find these? Um, I can get them from my supplier, but actually those come from my farm. Really? Yeah. So, you, so do you have a lot of stuff that you're actually growing um, No, I don't. Um, I do have um, the plum blossoms, mm -hmm. like I will have some flowering trees, but mostly I do get a lot of my stuff from... Um, my suppliers. This yeah. is really neat yeah, though. It's fun. I, I love this. I think a lot of people right now are going to take, they're going to steal this concept yeah, because great. if they're hosting a brunch yeah. or doing anything for their moms, uh, this is a wonderful idea and it really, it yeah. just has that delicate like even feel you can to break it. it. You can break it down mm -hmm. and there's a simple centerpiece right there. Just like that. Or have that even at each of the settings or yeah. something like that. Very beautiful. Simple. It's beautiful. Uh, so the flower factory, pretty much uh, a lot of people, you, you know, you're based in Rankford, but you're saying you're doing a lot of work still here in Ottawa. Yeah, I do. Uh, I think last summer it took me about probably five weddings in Ottawa. And then a couple brides actually came to Calabogie Peaks to have a destination wedding. Right. So I had a couple brides from Ottawa from that way. And then this year, I think I have four or five already. Okay. For so Ottawa. it's busy. So don't let the distance. I mean, it's not no. that far from Renfrew. And that's nope. a telephone call and, uh, and some great ideas. Uh, and to know that you're able to color it to pretty much cover anything that yep. people are looking for. A pleasure to meet you, Christina. It's nice meeting and, you. And uh, I just want you to stay because the, the scent, it's just, it's so <laughs> welcoming. I feel like alive and bright. 